Okay, since I already done a commentary on this rant on Clifford, I'm going to do one for Sesame Street now. So anyways, enjoy. Sesame. Sesame Street? More like Terrible Town. You gotta be kidding me. Was that the best insult you can ever come up with? That name was absolutely pathetic. Oh my god, this show sucks. How does it suck? Can you explain why it sucks? This show is about these stupid puppets. Other puppets are from Disney's Muppets. And introduces Elmo who go on failure adventures. Can you please stop using the failure adventures term already? Like I said, it's so annoying as bloody hell. This show needs to teach kids to sing and play, but I don't think so. Bro, it's a kid's show and it and it teaches kids to about friendship, kindness, sharing, caring, and they can and and it could and it's it's supposed to be that way. It's a kid's show. What do you expect from it? Sesame Street is is suitable for kids. Elmo can't speak right. <laughs> what? Can you explain why he doesn't speak right? Or are you just going to give invalid reasons to hate on him? Because that does not make any sense at all. And, and Why did you say he doesn't speak right? Huh? I really want to know why. like Hobie. And when he speaks in public, he gets arrested by the cops. Have you ever seen him get arrested by the cops? He's just a fictional character. Plus, he doesn't do he doesn't do anything wrong. He's he's just an innocent fictional character. So, I don't know why you said that to him. Plus, you're the one that it's probably going to go to jail and get arrested by the cops because of what you said to Kipper, Clifford, and Blue. You're probably going to go to jail for dog abuse as well. Ha ha. He deserves it. No, he doesn't deserve it. He's just a fictional character. Cookie Monster eats nothing but cookies. Well, Cookie Monster, <clears throat> that's, that's, that's how he is. Cookie Monster just loves to eat cookies. That's how Cookie Monster is. He loves eating cookies. Man, why would he eat something else? Like I said, he 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 has a he has a he is he is completely obsessed with cookies and loves to eat them twenty four seven. That's his. That's that's who he is, Cookie Monster. Cause if he eats too much cookies, he would get fat. Big Bird wants to be a baby, because he has it. Why would Cookie Monster get fat? And secondly, how is why why did you say Big Bird wants to be a baby? Huh? You're you're just nitpicking on the characters, and you're saying 
ev everything about these characters very negatively and giving invalid reasons to hate on them. Why would you ever do that? Study bear and he takes it anywhere. Bert and Ernie are idiots. Well, well, that's how is Ernie and Bert idiots? I think, I think they're actually pretty funny, Ernie and Bert, and Big Bert's an innocent character as well. So yeah. How are Bert and Ernie idiots? You better not you better not give invalid reasons to hate on them. And Ernie wants to be a baby. You're you're a violent fanboy. You're a fucking violent fanboy, you know that? Ernie Ernie likes his rubber ducky, and that does not make him a baby, okay? Stop nitpicking on the characters already. Because he takes his tubber duck everywhere. Abby Cadaby's voice sounds like a four-year-old and a tiny helpless baby. Oh my god. See what I mean? All he ever does in this one is nitpick on the characters. And how is how does she sound like a baby? And every time she has magic, she puffs up things that everyone loves. Bullshit. That's Actually, this rant is bullshit. This rant is bullshit. Completely bullshit. I think the reason why Oscar lives in the trash can because he is poor, or he forgot to take a shower or a bath. And no one cares about the other characters. Well, Oscar the Grouch just lives in a trash can. How, how cringe will we can this video get? They even have segments. The first segment is called Bert and Ernie's Adventures. Bert and Ernie's Adventures? No. More like dumb and jerk, stupid and crazy misadventure. Can you stop with the diss more like that term already? Because it's, it's getting annoying. This segment sucks. There was another segment called Abby Cadaby's Flying Fairy School. Abby Cadaby's Flying Fairy School? No. More why you dumb elementary school. This. Do I even need to be repeating myself? Segment sucks. And there was another segment called Elmo's World. Elmo's World? No. More like Crappy's failure. Again, do I even need to be repeating myself? This segment sucks. This show is so popular that Warner Brothers has decided to make their own movie called Follow That Bird. Follow That Bird? No. You know what? It's getting so bad that I think I should have to fast forward it because it's taking forever. Stupid. And the characters are jerks. Stories are lame. This movie sucks. The stories are lame. The music is boring. The theme song is garbage. The acting is stupid. And the characters are jerks. Thank That's an invalid reason to hate on this show. Those are all invalid reasons. 
Uh, this show got taken off PBS. But here's the bad news. This show has moved to HBO. What? I thought HBO showed some good movies and shows. Not this pile of shit. Well, that's too bad, because that was HBO's decision. Oh my god. Can this rant get any worse than this? And also, Elmo has its own late night show called Not Too Late Show. Not Oh my god, I have to skip that pod once again. Kimmel live. I hope these two shows get cancelled for good. Heartless much. Do you know who likes this show? Honestly, who the hell cares? Dylan Perot. He told me to put him in this spot. But I respect his opinion. And do you know who hates this show? Brendan Barney. He made a rant on this show. So screw Sesame Street. No, screw you for making this bullshit rant. And screw its films. What does the films have to do with this rant? Super Mario Logan is 400. I'm going to stop right here because that does, that does not make any sense at all. But my God, that rant was terrible. At least that's two down and... Two down and five more to go. So stay tuned for the next part.